Hi, I'm Natalie Bovis. Welcome back to another episode of Digging In. When it comes to defining cuisine and cocktails in the land of enchantment, Albuquerque has earned its place at the proverbial table. In this episode of Digging In, we ask some top talent who all won awards at the New Mexico Cocktails and Culture Festival about the rising temperature in the Duke City Kitchen. The Chef and Shaker Challenge is the festival's marquee event, and the 2017 People's Choice Award went to Albuquerque's Mark Quinones of Moss, and the judge's pick was David Gaspar de Alba, also from Albuquerque at Artichoke Cafe. So let's hear a little bit about your journey as a chef. I was born in El Paso, so right down the road. From there, I moved up to, uh, I came through Albuquerque for a little while and then ended in Portland, Oregon. Duck around for about a year and a half and just worked under some great chefs the entire time I was up in Portland. Why do you think um, we're still evolving here? Where, what's your role in helping Albuquerque and New Mexico get up to speed with the rest of the country? People are very comfortable with what they eat. You know, like everyone wants, I want every meal, red chili, green chili. And I understand that, but to step out of that comfort zone, yeah, you need some education. You need to let people know that there's Awesome options that are all grown here locally too that you know don't have to be the same thing we've been eating every day. New Mexico Cocktails and Culture is an annual celebration in Santa Fe each June, featuring chefs and bartenders from around the state. Leading up to the festival, bars and restaurants feature signature cocktails. Scallo took home Albuquerque Cocktail of the Year 2017, and Mikey Diamato was voted the festival's Albuquerque Bartender of the Year. I'm with Daniel Milot at Scalo, which won Cocktail of the Year for Albuquerque at the 2017 Cocktails and Culture Festival. Daniel, tell us about the cocktail. So what I made for uh, the Cocktail and Culture Festival was a bourbon and scotch sour. It was Maker's Mark bourbon, Akintosh and triple wood scotch, lemon juice, and an egg white. And I wanted to kind of do something, I'm a big bourbon drinker, so I wanted to do something bourbon but with a little bit of a twist on it. What sort of influences are you seeing coming to the city, maybe from the coasts or bigger cities? Uh, Albuquerque's always had a great culinary scene. We've got amazing restaurants that have put us on the map in the culinary world. We were definitely kind of, in terms of cocktails and the finer aspect of, of drinks, a little bit lacking behind. And I feel in the last couple years that we've caught up dramatically. We've taken a, a faster jump than most other cities. I'm with Mikey Diamato, who won Bartender of the Year Albuquerque at Cocktails and Culture Festival 2017. What was the moment that you decided bartending is it for you? Uh, a few years ago, I, I moved here from the Big Island of Hawaii. When I came here, um, I've always been very passionate about cooking. When I got behind the bar and was able to start studying spirits and different ingredients that, that chefs are using in the kitchen, it, it really clicked for me. Um, I like that energy and I like to, I like to feed off the energy and, and like to read people. You have to stay passionate about what you're doing, and if and if you're inspired and you're passionate, then the guests can feel that, and it's it's a beautiful thing when when you have that when you have that energy between you and the guest, and when they can feel that you really love what you're doing, it's it's such an amazing experience, and they're gonna never forget that. They're gonna always remember that experience. So. Thanks for joining us, and get the 2018 Cocktails and Culture Festival lineup at nmcocktailculture.com. See you next time on Digging In.